Hi there! Today we're going to show you how to build a group hand washing facility that is called Washalot 3.0. Hand washing with soap is the single most effective way to reduce the spread of common diseases among students. Daily practice of hand washing with soap together with their peers also promotes good hygiene habits among students. The Washlet 3.0 is designed to accommodate many students simultaneously, thus minimizing the time to conduct hand washing with soap together with their peers. This production video is intended for uh, potential local producers who has the technical capacity and the skills to build the Washal 3.0. But before you set up the production site, you need to consider that there's an adequate uh, available local materials within the region and that there's a clear demand of the Washal 3.0. The Washalot 3.0 is made of high-density polyethylene pipe which is commonly used by water distribution companies and stainless steel nipple feeders which are commonly used for livestock purposes. When buying materials, make sure to check for the quality. HDPA pipe should have a marking at the side of SDR17 and for the nipple feeder, make sure that it is non-magnetic. Aside from these two main materials, other needed materials are listed in the manual provided together with this video. As for the tools required, you would need the following. Drill press, cut-off saw, welding machine, electric grinder, electric hand drill, and a butt fusion machine. The machine used in this video is for straight butt fusion, so the producer fabricated this additional accessory to allow angled butt fusion. Other simple tools are also needed during the production process and are listed in the manual provided together with this video. Now that the materials and tools are prepared, we are set to do the production of the Washala 3.0. First is to prepare the main pipe. On the pipe, measure and mark 1 280 cm and 2 20 cm. Cut the marked spot with a cut-off saw to have one long pipe and two short pipes. Mark a straight line on both sides of the pipes that is opposite to each other to serve as reference. Adjust the stopper of the cut-off saw in 70 degree angle from the cutting plane. Position the longer pipe with the reference line directly to the top. The same process will be done for the shorter pipe but now with a 70 degree angle on one side and 40 degree angle on the other side. To form the main pipe of the Washala 3.0, the pipes should be welded together using a butt fusion machine. Warm up the heat plate before positioning the pipes in order to attain the required temperature for butt fusion. Position the longer pipe and a shorter pipe on the machine with both 70 degree angle facing each other. Adjust the positioning of both pipes and check that reference marks should be aligned before tightening. Retract the pipes from each other and then position the heat plate. The desired temperature of the heat plate to properly melt and weld the pipe should be around 200 to 235 degrees Celsius. Gradually apply pressure to press the pipe against the heat plate. Retract the pipe when a leap-like formation on the heated part is visible and then remove the heat plate. Press the pipes against each other while applying gradual amount of pressure until the pipes are welded together. Repeat the same process for the other end of the pipe. With the main pipe finished, place it in a C-channel to serve as holder and keep it straight. Position the braced main pipe with the pipe opening facing downward, then mark another straight line directly at the top of the main pipe. Following the straight line, mark the locations for grilling. For grilling holes, use a drill bit size of 18mm or 45 by 64 inch whichever is available. 
position the braced main pipe into the drill press. It is important that when drilling holes into the main pipe, the drill bit should be perpendicular to the main pipe. Simple ways to attain that is by using a flat bottom brace to restrict the movement of the pipe in this direction and adding a support with the same height out of this turntable to restrict movement of the pipe in this direction. On the other side of the pipe, another hole should be drilled for connecting the washout 3.0 to existing pipe water systems. To make threads on the holes, use a tap size of M20 by 1.5 for metric sizes and 3/4-16 UNF for United Thread Standard, whichever is available. The profile of the hand tap is tapered, which means the deeper you drive the tap, the wider the hole becomes. So make sure that there is at least two turns left on the tap. While the main pipe is being fabricated, other workers can prepare the water outlets and the cover. The water outlets of our Washala 3.0 are made from these stainless nipple feeders. Always make sure that these are checked and are stainless and one way to do that is the use of magnets. First, disassemble its parts and be sure to keep all the pieces in one place because you don't want missing parts when you assemble them back. Separate the body of the nipple feeder for cutting. Then one by one, cut the body of the nipple feeder. Cutting metal parts will usually leave sharp edges. Remove these sharp edges by grinding the cut part. When the body has cooled down after cutting and grinding, we assemble the parts of the nipple feeder. Be sure that you put back the parts in the proper sequence as how it was disassembled. This is our finished water outlet. To check if it works properly, it needs to be subjected under simple pressure water test. In order to test the water outlets, we made this simple water outlet leak tester. If a water outlet is leaking, remove the leaking water outlet from the tester, then check if the sequence of the assembly is correct, then test it again. To cover the openings of our washalot, we will be using this black HDPE plate. We are using black color material to minimize the light entering into the washalot, which causes algal accumulation. With a cardboard, trace the profile of the water inlet. This profile will serve as the template to shape the cover. Cut the plate following the traced profile. Mark another line perpendicular to the longer side of the cover that is 3.5 cm away from one end. Cut this line at an angle leaning towards the 3.5 cm segment. The angled cut of the washalot 3.0 is designed specifically to minimize light entering into the washalot. The angled cut of the water inlet cover which is away from the pipe restricts light entering into the pipe that causes algae accumulation. Position a hinge on the cover then apply a tape to temporarily hold them together. Drill holes on the cover following the holes in the hinge. Permanently fasten the hinge into the cover using rivets. With the cover and the water outlet already done, we are now ready to attach this to the main pipe. Start with fixing the cover over the water inlet. Drill holes on the cover, 
then apply screws to fix the cover. Drill another hole at the other end of the cover. This would serve to hold the lock for the cover. For schools that have existing pipe water systems, a pipe water connector is attached to the main pipe allowing the washer at 3.0 to be connected to existing pipe water systems. Turn the main pipe upside down to attach the water outlets. It is of utmost importance that connections are leak-free so apply adequate Teflon tape onto the water outlets. Our wash outlet 3.0 is already done. But before this goes out to the school, it needs a final check. Fill the new wash outlet 3.0 with water. Use the quality assurance form provided together with the manual. Testing and checking should be carried out by a quality assurance supervisor. If there are small amounts of water leaking from the water outlet, try pushing the lever upwards 5 times and swirl in a circular motion for another 5 times while the lever is being pushed. Standardized legs should also be included in the Washlet 3.0 package. These legs are designed in a way that it allows the Washlet 3.0 for cleaning and safekeeping purposes. The detachable leg is divided into three parts, the pipe holder, the press, and the handle. Cut all desired lengths of these parts as indicated in the manual. Using a drill bit, drill a hole into each of the six pieces half inch flat bar to form a fastener when paired. Look or use a material with a profile the same as to that of the main pipe. On it, bend the flat bar to form the pipe holder. For the handle, bend the 8mm iron rod. For the mechanism to work, we'll use hinges that would allow the parts to open. A fastener is also welded on the leg to hold the lock. For the final touch, paint the legs to prevent from rusting. That concludes the production of the Washer 3.0. Together with the detailed manual provided, a potential producer should be able to produce the Washer 3.0 on their own.